not a lot of people are talking about is that you can get an even higher interest rate than 4.6%, which again, is not bad at all. The treasury yields, according to Bloomberg, are giving you a 5.34% for a three-month treasury bond. My name is Albert, and I'm trying to use my master's in finance that I got a couple years ago and try to make a use of it. High yield savings accounts like this one from SoFi can be a great option to park your money since it can give you a higher interest rate than a regular checking account. A regular savings account gives you only 0.4%. 45% according to the FDIC is pretty much a magnitude of 10 times higher. However, what a lot of people are talking about is that you can get an even higher interest rate than 4.6%, which again is not bad at all. We are currently experiencing something called an inverted yield curve, which means that short-term interest rates are higher than long-term interest rates. And this is great for you if you want to invest in bonds. And just to give you an example, the treasury yields, according to Bloomberg, are giving you a 5.34% for a three-month treasury bond. This is just a quick example that what if you invest $10,000 or you leave $10,000 in your savings account? And what is the yearly return that you would get? As you can see, with a return of 4.6%, you get a $460. But with a 5.34%, you would get $534 with a difference of $74. And the cool thing about it is that when you buy bonds, you, you buy them at a discounted price. Meaning if you usually buy, for example, one bond is at 900 and something dollars. And that and they will give you one thousand dollars at the end or at the maturity of the bond that is how you make that yield percentage return basically you purchase it for a lower price and they give you the one thousand dollars again for the sake of this exercise i'm just assuming that you buy bonds every three months and interest rates remain the same which is not a hundred percent realistic but it's just an exercise one of the advantages of having a high yield savings account though is that they give you that interest directly in your account and you can withdraw the money whenever you need it However, if you buy a three month bond, you can always sell that bond in a secondary market. And if you don't do anything with that bond, you will just get the return expected. Hopefully you find this information helpful. Follow me for more financial tips.